Hello and welcome along. Today we're back on Thornton Farm, uh, and we ha and spring has sprung. Um, if you're wondering where winter went, um, basically we uh, we did a couple of live streams uh, over the weekend that uh, that basically got us through winter, got us out the other side. Uh, we did a load of um, logging stuff, so I'll get those up. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're uh, we're in the spring. We got flowers everywhere, uh, and we are going to go and do some grass work today. More specifically, we're going to go and fertilise our uh, grass with some silage. Make sure that when we come to to cut that in the uh, in the late spring, that we have plenty of uh, uh, that we up the yield to the most we can so we're going to use our class 950 oh sorry 920 axiom for this so we'll get our started up and we'll head on out whoops that's going backwards and we will head over and get our silage well uh, it's a spreader it's injector or a tanker that will allow us to do this, which is over here. There it is. Our animals do need some mucking out, but I will do that off. Oh well, we'll see how we go. to that okay there we go and we'll turn that off all right we're going to get it from the pigs one first all right so now how much do the pigs and the cows have Uh, so the pigs have uh, 24,000 litres and the cows have 71. We're going to have more than enough to do our two um, grass fields with this. Uh, we'll also use GPS to do it because it will make things easier. There we go. So yeah, we have enough for plenty of trips to do this. So we're going to do our further field first. Uh, just go jumping cab for this. Because I find it easier to navigate these roads from an in cab view. I get a better feeling of uh, of where I need to put the nose of the tractor. This road especially can be quite narrow. Getting, uh, yeah, getting the seeding stuff down here is, it's really quite scary sometimes. Especially trying to get it across this bridge, but this is fine. Uh, we have an entrance. We do have an entrance at the top here, through another field. The good thing about doing this at this time of year in seasons is you can actually see the uh, edge of the grass that is uh, it, it can be fertilized and the grass that can't there we go I should probably pick up this field this field 23 at some point right here we are Ah, uh, yeah, you can sc I clearly see the different uh, difference in colour in this grass. So while it's nice and short like this, right, we'll pop back out. Fold this out. Right, 
Right, so we're going to use, because this field's at a bit of an angle, we're going to use one of the functions of GPS, which is to set ourselves an angled course. And no offset. There we go, no offset. So we set the angled course to match that of the field. And that'll allow us then to do this a lot more easily. I don't mind it, it's going back like that. So we'll set that and down and away. Move forwards. And there we go. So hopefully, we now catch all of the edge of the field with this. And in doing so, we will also... Wow, that is catching everything. Excellent. Uh, so this means that we should now easily catch all of this. Start turning. Three. Maybe wise at the end to pick these up rather than try and get round to that. We'll waste less slurry that time, I think. Uh, that way, I think. I'll turn that off. And then what we can do? So, there we go. It's it's working quite nicely. We are we are only got th we've only got thirty two percent left uh, of our slurry though. So we need to be careful with that. We are going to have to go around the edges, I think try and catch these patches we're missing as we turn. There's no easy way to make uh, to to get them, so yeah. Slightly annoying. But the GPS is working well. The GPS is definitely allowing us to uh, 
to cover the most of this field in the best way we can. We're not missing a huge amount when we're doing the turn at the end. Might be wiser though maybe to just lift this up before we do the turn. Oh, we've lower out of it, so let's Fold it up and head back to the farm and grab some more. Okay, so we're back at the pigs. We'll fill up here. There we are. Uh, so it's... This is working well. It's trying to work out what jobs we have to do at this uh, at the moment so we have got uh clearing our animals out so we'll have to get that done at some point uh we're gonna run out of liquid manure from the uh the pigs in a minute but that's fine we have plenty still with the cows uh the pigs do need cleaning but everything else actually is fairly good with the animals so i'm not overly worried about them at the moment uh growth wise where are we? There we are. Um, all of our radish is still in its first first growth stage. Uh, I need to get it to another growth stage. Trouble is, because we uh, did quite a lot of it quite late, it may not uh, be at a level where we're ready to cultivate it in until late spring. Right, so let's uh, fill that. Just top that off. So, let's have a look at this in Seasons menu. So this is this is something very cool in Seasons. Uh, it tells you when to plant and when you can harvest. So, uh, we are looking to plant, yeah, basically all of our stuff. Soybeans is late. Corn is late to popular grass. Where are potatoes? So potatoes and sugar beet we also need to plant here. Uh, they can be harvested. Okay. Uh, we need to plant corn. So corn we can plant into the summer. Uh, sugar beet we can plant just in the spring. So pretty much everything we can just plant into the spring. Uh so that we're going to have to work on. Yeah, getting the radish in in time so that you can then still plant come later in the year or, or come spring and harvest at the right time is, uh, is a tough one. Uh, this rate we'll be harvesting late autumn, which of course isn't that. I, I would have said that was realistic. I would. It, it seems a little odd that you can't harvest uh, wheat and barley uh, late summer as well. I might, I might make a suggestion to them about that. But certainly, um, certainly, be used to be able to harvest. Uh, late summer, you'd aim to start, and you'd be you'd be harvesting uh, July, maybe end of July through August, and maybe in September. So even midsummer through to late um, through to uh, early autumn for those. Right, so into here. There we go. And we're going to hook up to where we were before. So we'll unfold this as we come into the field. Yeah. 
There we go. Right, and um, we'll get back on to our slowy spreading. Lower that down. And there we go. Uh, we are back on our GPS course. Perfect. We should have enough slurry here, I think, to finish this field. We've got about halfway through. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm trying to plan the perfect time. I think we're going to end up having to cultivate in our radish uh, mid, uh, mid spring. And in doing that, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get the, the, the maximum yield we can. I don't know how much the radish has to grow in order to get uh, to get the boost from it. So I think I might look I might look that up before I go and cultivate all the radish in and all that work that I've done. Uh, it's for naught because that would that would not be good I'm looking to harvest this grass probably in the summer because the summer months uh, can come across a bit like the winter in that uh, oh no I'm caught on the fence oh no right lift it There we go. That got over the fence. Um, uh, in that sometimes there's not much to do. So we're gonna. Uh, what we'll be doing in the early summer is uh, our grass harvest. At that point, uh, so doing. We're gonna probably do. We do need to do some silage bales. We do need to do some hay bales. So we'll probably put one of these fields to hay and one of these fields to silage. Uh, we also need to uh, use some of that to feed our sheep and our cows uh, grass over the summer. So we will uh, we will look at that as well. Whoops! Press the wrong button. You think that wouldn't be something that happens in farming? That does. <laughs> I have pressed the wrong button in a real tractor before. And that took a lot of time to clean up. So it does happen. Right, here I think we are going to have to pick up, just head down the end with this moment. go and away we go again there we are do we have we're not gonna have enough to finish this field off are we it's gonna be one more trip back to the main yard that surprises me I thought I had enough right so lift it again and fold it in should be able to head out of this gateway 
head back to the farm this way. So I will do this on camera because I want to have a look at this route. Ah, uh, this takes us, so this takes us around the bottom and, and up. This is a much longer way around. So I will see you back at the main farm uh, in a moment. Okay, so we're back at the main yard. We want to come around here. I'm going to back this up uh, because turning around last time was a bit of a faff. Just pull it alongside this. There we go. I refill that. We have. Where are we? 68,000 litres left. So we do have several more tanks. Uh, let's see how much we may, we've we made today. So. Sold milk. So we make 22,000 roughly from milk each day. Uh, does it not? New vehicles sold. Construction costs. Vehicle running costs. So we, yeah, we make about 11,000 a day at the moment. We've got quite a healthy bank balance going. Uh, so we could afford to repay some of our loan. But uh, I think we will uh, we'll hold off on that for the moment. But yeah, that's because we're we're easily making enough money at the moment. Now we are full and we have everything. I will drive back to the field and uh, and I will see you back down there. I'm coming along this road here. I've just realised that we've got a cut down here so I'm going to cut through here I think this takes me out the other side near our gateway for field 22 so we'll head down here and through here this is quite nice this is quite cool yeah it's a little rough cut through road brings us out brings us out on the road where uh, we ended up going the long way around that's actually really useful I don't know how easy it would be to... Well, the, the, actually, no, that, that should be perfect for us for getting uh, stuff we can't get over those bridges down here, which is probably why it exists in the first place, to be honest. Right. So, I'll pop back out. There we go. So this should now finish this off. And we'll be all done. Oh, come on, break that. Thank you. Could have just turned the GPS there off rather than trying to uh, get it to keep going until I had it turned, but never mind. Just need to go and get the bits around the end once we got this. So I'm not going to worry so much about turning the GPS on here. Because I can pretty much see everything I've got to cover. Yeah, there we go. And these last little bits. Get the rest of that on the way back, I think. So we'll probably put some solid fertilizer on here as well. And there we go.
So that's all done. I'll just stop this here. Uh, and that's actually a pretty good place for us to end, I think. So, uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.